Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned in to my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. This little uh, spy cam that sells on Amazon uh, for uh, $17 and change when you factor in taxes uh, it's, it's, doesn't, it's not a very good webcam or spy cam in terms of the quality, but what it lets you do, if you have a Mac Mini M1, is be able to get a cheap webcam that you can easily connect to your Mac Mini M1 to allow continuity camera to be enabled, and then you could use your iPhone as your wireless webcam. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this cheap little spy cam lets you do that affordably and not take up so much desk space as it would to use a, a, a regular uh, webcam. Okay. Now when you buy the uh, SQ11 mini DV camera, um, you get obviously the uh, little spy cam. There's no memory card attached to it. It's got the um, a mini DV cable that on the other end is USB type A that allows you to connect it to your computer. We'll be making use of this for the webcam mode and it does uh, produce uh, RCA video output that I'll be demonstrating in another video how you can use that uh, for certain advantage when using your vinyl turntable to play audio through the Apple HomePod Mini. It also comes with a clip so you can attach it to the uh, uh, the spy cam um, as such so you can clip it onto your uh, uh, shirt or jacket or and this uh, mount that also helps if you want to mount it in a wall mounted or mount it somewhere inconspicuous. It comes with a manual. Good luck deciphering that. Um, and obviously the, the box. Uh, I'm using a, a little micro sand disc, but it does not include one. You don't have to worry about getting it if you're going to just use it for the purpose of what I'm showing in this video because you can't use a memory card when using the webcam or the little spy cam as a webcam. If you put a memory card in there, it'll treat this as the device as a memory card reader and let you copy off your video files or photos. Okay, so we've demonstrated this. And uh, now in order to use this as a webcam, as I said, do not use any kind of uh, memory card. Connect the mini DV cable on one end and then on the other, connect that to your Mac mini uh, and uh, which I'll do now. And then you plug the uh, USB Type A into an available port on the Mac Mini M M1, just like that. Now, once connected, uh, let me bring up FaceTime. And as you can see, um, uh, the uh, SQ11 is my webcam and uh, let me use it to capture some footage here of my Apple TV remote. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to orient it, but you see it there. Of course, I'm not using it for that purpose because its resolution is too grainy, even at 1080p. But what it does do, and you can see here, is it enables continuity camera. And that lets me now use the iPhone as my webcam, which I'll demonstrate right now. And there you have it. That wonderful chime that indicates the iPhone is now serving as my wireless webcam. Well, it could be 
tethered with the lightning cable, but I'm not interested in that. I like it to be wireless, more mobility, more flexibility. And so this little SQ11 at uh, 1599 plus tax allows that to be done with a minimal amount of space. It's easier to work with this than it is a standard size webcam. Well, I hope this video helps you make better use of the continuity camera feature. Um, uh, that is now, it's a new feature with Ventura. Uh, and get the most out of your Mac Mini M1. Um, again, would that Apple had simply a setting that you can select that would say, use continuity camera, just turning it on or off, as opposed to having to trigger it with the webcam. But until that day comes, if ever, uh, this little webcam lets you do it uh, on the cheap. Um, and so, hope this helps you. Please give me a like and subscribe. And again, I really appreciate your support and will counter subscribe to everybody who does that for me and watch content on your channel. Thank you very much. And until next time, bye-bye.